Okay, here I go for the photo shoot. I'm ready. I'm really excited about it. Got my suitcase. Here we go. All right, we're just packing up the car. A little bit late, but not too bad. Because we were originally, I think we said three. So, then I'm only going to be like four minutes late. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got JR crossing the street right there. This was great. It was a good first part of our photo shoot so far. And I think the shots look pretty cool. He showed me a lot of them and they're very professional, vulnerable in the same way. And that's kind of what I was going for as well as fun, authentic, futuristic. I think we struck it on all of those notes. So that was kind of what our goal was. And now to the next spot. We're headed to do the urban look, more, more city type of feel stuff. So yeah. It's gonna be fun. We got a whole day planned. <laughs> like when I'm doing the shoot and like people are walking by and I'm like, sorry, <laughs> you know? Anyway, so I'm going back to change into my next look. And then we gotta hustle to meet the sunset before that happens. So yeah, here we are before sunset. Plenty of time to get all the shots we want in. I just have you on my phone as JR Photo. Yeah, that's fine. We're done. We're done, done. with our shoot. And like the sunset behind you. Hey, Look at that. Yes. So proud. So proud of you. Oh. We're leaving. Adios. Adios. I'm just starving and just chill and have a nice dinner after all the hard work. It was not hard work. Let's be honest. It's fun. So that's why I do what I do. It's fun work. Who wants to do hard work? I still work though, I like to work. Anyway, I hope that everyone is having an amazing day. If you can, you need to get outside and go see the sunset or something, because I just did that tonight and it was really nice. Just when the wind is blowing in your hair and there's like the smell of the sea and stuff, it's just really great. It just makes me want to become a sailor or a pirate or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Not really though, please no. Yes! And I hope that you feel the same way too. This is like taking me back to high school, like, <laughs> Today we're going to the beach with Margie. And it's just perfect weather. Jenna and I are just out by ourselves. Feels really wrong. <laughs> I wanna have a call tonight too with, with Brandon. It'll be a good, productive day. A lot of business things. Um, All right. I get it, it, like, it feels awkward, but at some point you have to treat yourself like a business. It's going to be a strange habit to develop because I get it, you just wanna work with your friends. But again, you're a business now and you're a business that's trying to grow at rapid speed. Mm -hmm. So we're playing a different ball game now. Yeah. Every single time we talk, I feel, you Oh, know. that's great to hear. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you do have some homework stuff for me this Sunday and on April 1st, so get to work. I'll see you on Sunday. And um, we're gonna get cooking here. It's gonna, April's gonna be really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Yay. Have a good night. All right, you too. Bye. Take care. <laughs> okay. Oof. So, now I need to say good night to Jenna. I didn't even eat my dinner. I was having this call. Um, it was great. It was another great call with Brandon. Um, 
just helps me get focused. You know, now I have these really strong three goals I've got to finish by our next meeting, you know, that I'm going to be doing all these other little goals, but these goals are really important stuff that I have to get done because I know he's going to, he's going <laughs> to care. Um, so, yeah, that's where things are at when I eat this taco. Let's see if I can say goodnight to Jenna. I know she said night already, so maybe I, it's probably too late, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. So, <clears throat> I woke up this morning on the couch because that's where I sleep when um, Nana visits. <laughs> it's a really have a comfy couch. I'm, I'm glad. Anyway, so today my goals are I have the other vlogs that I've already <laughs> taken. I've got to upload all that stuff and get that over to the editor. And then I'm going to continue writing music. Pop Pop is coming, so that'll be fun. And I'm sure we can go out and do something, like maybe go out to eat or something together. And they have a hotel, so we might go over and go swimming or something like that at some point. I have got a lot of things to do, though. I need this interview I have to do, so I've got to answer the questions ahead of time here and think about what that's going to be. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to say. I think it's going to be a great day. Oh, the other thing I was doing is I was getting out all of the foam squares that I'm going to put up on the inside of my studio closet. They're everywhere. Some of them look super cool already and they're just puffing out great. And then I'm changing this arrangement. This is actually originally designed to hang above so that I catch the deflections of the sound that come up this way. All of this is to treat the room acoustically so then I can mix more uh, accurately or I can hear my from my speakers when I'm creating a lot more accurately. This is my recording booth. <laughs> and this will all fill this whole wall. So that's a lot of setting up and doing that still. So that's my goal. Um, I'm not gonna get all of that done, even half of it done today. Probably they smell like a weird smell too. Like, like kind of like printer ink or something. I just went pee. <laughs> All right, this is too um, TMI for some people, but does this happen to anybody else? This is the question I have. So it was orange, like orange. I mean, I did have some beats the other day too, but what is, <sighs> come on. Yeah. So I need to drink more water, <laughs> I think. I do drink like other liquids sometimes. Like I used to drink a lot of soda. But this was like maybe five years ago, six years ago, you know, like, because I was addicted to soda. I would drink like 40 or so ounces a day at least of soda because I had it for free at where I worked. I worked at McDonald's for five years and I got free food, whatever I'd want from McDonald's, free drinks, whatever I wanted, because I was a manager there. You know, that's something about me. That's a whole nother thing. All I'm saying about this is that, how am I really gonna function long-term? How is my body gonna? I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are on health, on um, soda. Like, do you drink soda? Because I definitely gave it up, haven't had it since, um, with one exception, which was this last summer, my brother's bachelor party, then I just let it go, thankfully. So instead, I try to have water. Follow me for more nutrition info, I guess. I don't want it to be this color. I want it to be this color. <laughs> pop Pop, Pop Pop's here. Yay, it's here for Pop Pop. Yay, yay. All right. I hope it is Gotta get sealed up before you're shot. Mm-hmm. That's true. No, that's so great that We got barely got in there. Yeah, it was really hard to find. Like it seemed so easy and then it was like hard. Is it, is that, is that, is that, is that, is it what? It, yeah, it is now gonna be open for everybody. Yeah. But they had to use their food handle card to get it right oh, now. Yeah. 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 And you have no, to show any, like proof and everything. Yeah. So we're on our way to go get our vaccines right now. And it did kind of take a little bit of time to get an appointment. Jenna and I were both trying to get the ones at the same time as well, so we can make it one trip. We're getting the Pfizer vaccine. Okay, so we're in past like the hospital entrance. Now we're just kind of here. We're just following the, what they're telling us to do.
that was it. Nice. Okay, That's gotcha. me and so no worries. That's why I thought of it. You know what? There's no photos. Sorry oh. about that, guys. All right, so we're just now in the holding area. We're just waiting. And it's already been like seven or eight minutes since we got our shots, which we, our appointment was at 2.15. It's only 2.13 right now. It's mm -hmm. gone so smooth. Yeah. And it was very easy. They're so nice and they're really on it. Like they've got a projector screen set up with their time so they can mark everything. All the people are just relaxed. Yeah, it's awesome. This is a great location, as well as it's it's been a good experience to get it so far. It's like the tiniest needle. You don't feel it. I, I don't have any sort of pain at all. Maybe tomorrow my arm will fall off. We'll see. All right, good morning. I am ready for the day now-ish because I never take a shower, but I need to do that. Um, we're going to the park because, again, we have family in town, so we got to go to the park. 8.30 a.m., they just came over and brought us some breakfast from McDonald's, guilty pleasure. Um, and now we're gonna head out. Oh, Panda's still asleep. Hi, Panda. Um, gonna head out and we're gonna go to the park. Are you swinging with Mama? Yay! And you reached that one? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're okay. Cute. Do the next one. See the park, Jay? Look, we have a tree that goes in a circle. You know, it's so important to have family time like this because you have to be able to value the people around you as well as the time that you spend it needs to be allotted equally to that, the things that are important to you. I've had to focus on that aspect of actually scheduling that time in and allowing for that time and being happy and good with spending that time being all in when I'm there in that time rather than thinking about work or thinking about music or whatever while I'm, you know, out with family and stuff. So that's why I'm here right now because it's, it's like they're only in town for a couple days and they want to spend time with Jaden so I don't want to miss them and uh, just miss out on the moment to connect with my family, you know. The number of days that we actually see our family out of all the days of the year, out of all the rest of our life, you know, and that's accounting for if they are still alive and everything's good, right? And if I'm, if I live a long life, right? You just don't know, it like could be. There's only 10 days left or five days left ever. Hopefully not, but that's why you just gotta value those things in. And that's why, that's why family has become a lot more important to me in the last few years, so. I've started to recognize that, and they're the people that love me the most, that I love the most, that um, continually take care of me, are there for me, and like, I have to be able to give that back to them, too. It can't just be a take, 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 one-way street, you know? Um, they fuel me, and they, they help me, and I, I do the same for them, I'd like to believe, so. Yeah, family's important. It's really important. So now we're going in the park. Now we're back home. Um, it's actually bedtime, so they're reading her a book on the bed. Silly book on the ceiling. And the shower in the shower. What's he doing? So cute. Be and silly. Yeah. 